three tiers to the elite tier. RFC Season 14 Grand Finals for the Elite is going to be the Cyclones versus the Amaterasu, representing the Storm and... Oh, God. That Nor- franchise. Norm- normally, these franchises Pantheon. have their names. The Pantheon. Pantheon. <laughs> they have their names <laughs> in the logo. It's just so easy to read. <laughs> you know, you expect me to remember pictures? Come on. Now, that's... That's 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 what you get when you uh, have paid casters, you know. But we're we're scrubs here. We just volunteer, and so yeah. we we just read the words on the screen. We make our lives as <laughs> easy. Imagine as actually getting paid, lol. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a good matchup here for the elite side of things. We've got the Cyclones from Storm that are actually the fourth seed, and then amaterasu who are the fifth seed so we're actually seeing some pretty interesting results here as far as the bracket run is going so this is gonna be a pretty interesting battle as we're looking at the the team stats here looking at the overall season things are looking almost identical the entire way down minus saves yeah it's it's incredibly awesome to see a lineup this even i hope that we get to see the results of this on the field here in the finals and i'm pretty sure that we will this is looking like a game seven series already uh i know it's a little early to call that but we will see guys if you haven't voted yet you've got it looks about like anywhere between 40 and 60 seconds to get your last votes in it is a close race between maui and l dunk both with 12 votes each your vote could be the final swing vote get in there and make your votes count but let's look at these players that we're going to be seeing on the field today Oh, yeah. I'm really excited to see this. The elite side of things, the player side of things here. The games played going for the Cyclone side of things. 52 down the board, except for Mike is my Ike, and I absolutely love that name. And we got Gob, Silly Bunny, and I'm going to just shorten that to Who Are You? And, uh, you know, looking across the stat line there, we're seeing some pretty good stats. And, oh, my word, who are you? Again, the top of the billet there with 60 goals, putting in work, and uh, the assists and the shooting percentage of 37. Shoo! That's looking nasty right there. So it looks like we do have your challenger MVP is going to officially be L dunk after the serious performance that he had. Congratulations to L dunk. And looking back at the <laughs> uh, challenger series, that was just an absolutely amazing performance. Congratulations, L dunk. You deserve it. But we do have Twitch chat. It looks like possibly correcting us on this name. Uh, Ax who will be better, a better call out than who. Ax who. Ax who. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Ax yeah. Who. But, uh, like you know, on uh, the Amaterasu side, we've got some pretty low shooting percentages compared to uh, um, the rest of what we would normally see on these stats <laughs> as well. It's kind of the same as the Cyclones. Again, it's pretty even on these two teams, which is awesome to see. We do know that um, the Amaterasu had the advantage in the saves. So we're going to see if maybe the low shooting percentage from the Cyclones is going to be a little bit more of a hindrance since Amaterasu has more of those saves. But we've got these players in. Let's go ahead and get you guys down to the field. (laughs) We're going to be getting you into Game 1 of the Elite Season 14 Final Cyclones versus Amaterasu Storm versus Pantheon. Uh, Croctopus, I don't know if you saw, but uh, we have two players with eight shots and 27 goals and 12 goals for Yoder and Mike is my Ike. You love to see those shooting percentages, but ladies and gentlemen, get your predictions in right now as we're getting everybody loaded in, getting everybody prepped for actual kickoff here in game one. This is again, this is going to be a best of seven for the elite tier Cyclones. I'm a Tarasu. Let's see if we can get these players actually loaded in. It's looking like we got it. Proctopus. I think it's time. Yeah, it is time, but uh, you, you did bring up a good point about the stats. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure what they were about. I was going to talk about them. No, I took the percentages as opposed to the 27 goals on eight shots. I figured that was a little more accurate. Getting started early here, we've got Cyclones that are going to be on the blue side of Matarasu on the orange side. Got a... Uh, excuse me. 
Axu is going to be early on the attack, but Mikey able to clear it away. Gob waiting on the sidewall, looks for the bottom left corner. Stonewall there to send it away. Now we got Fluff looking to get something started. A back pass to his own team. No one's ready, so he's just going to go up on the backboard and take it himself. Yeah, it was a bit of an interesting touch there. Interesting rotations coming through, but we can see how much quicker things are going already. Holy cow. Chally to Elite is always fun. Getting to see all these different tiers playing. Axe Who coming in, trying to take it to the sidewall. Gets it past one, but got to get it past Stonewall, who is uh, looking like a Stonewall on the defense there. Sends it back to the corner. Gob going for a bump there, but only gets it to Fluff. I think it's also funny how there's a Fluff and Silly Bunny on the field here. That's a bit of an interesting one as well. But Stonewall to the back corner. Silly Bunny coming in. No, couldn't quite get it. Stonewall shuts it down. Axe who? Well, there's a bump in the middle. Can Gob get to this? He can! Wow, what a first goal to kick us off. Only takes a minute and 14 seconds here to get our opening goal. Good pass by Axe who fluff a little bit of a rough recovery off the wall. Knows his teammate isn't going to get there from the far post. Coming in quick. Tries their absolute hardest, but it is not enough. 1-0 for the Cyclones. To the sidewall, Stonewall gets it past one. Axe who thinks about it, and Gob also misses. So this is going to be a lot to do on Silly Bunny, but it looks like the Amaterasu side of things accidentally clears it themselves. So Axe who's going to come down, try and get past who does so. Fluff shuts it down. Gob to the sidewall, trying to get a pass to themselves. Does so, but couldn't quite. Oh my, the pinch. I thought that was going to be a pinch own goal. Mikey's coming in to clear things out, but it's going to go just to Stonewall. who's waiting patiently in that back corner there. Gets bumped for his efforts. And so it's going to be a bit of a slow clear out here. Stonewall's low on boost. And the pressure is continuing to mount in this corner here, but it's looking like they're going to get out clean. Mikey gets past one. A race to the ball. Pinch mid. Fluff is there. Can't get it around Gob, who just shuts it down. Yeah, the Cyclones are doing a really good job of boost control right now. Amaterasu is really struggling in their own half. A lot of people low on boost. And of course, the, ones, the one time you get a defender that ends up finding full boost, or at least enough pads to look like he had plenty of boost, the ball gets taken down into the blue half. It's oh. already here in the orange half. Axu is going to get himself on the board with a goal here assisted by i believe that was silly bunny yeah silly bunny out of the yeah. corner gets a good pass and just unfortunately stonewall way too out of the net there two players covering the wall no players covering the net easy goal for axu there to push the cyclones up by another 2-0 yeah it's a bit of an aggressive defensive stand there and it comes back to bite him you know i uh i had a coach that would always say you gotta be in your home you gotta be back post and you, know, you can see it there, how that can come to fruition. If you not be in there, it can get you bit from time to time. But you know, these players are doing their thing. They're getting this feeler game out and about, seeing if they can get the mechanics warmed up, see if they can get the shots warmed up as one goes shot on there. Silly Bunny gets blocked out. Now it's going to be a race back down. Fluff getting it to the corner. Nobody really ready in the mid there. So Gob's going to clear it out. But it's only as far as Stonewall. Ooh, I thought it was going to be a shot on there. Fluff. Trying to get it back mid, does so, but there's going to be a nice pinch off the backboard there. It's a lot of forward momentum. Axe who? Oh, I hear somebody, somebody's got a helicopter engine sound. <laughs> I yeah. just heard that come through. <laughs> oh, Fluff no. here trying to make something happen out of the corner. Can't get a second touch on the ball, so Axe who sends it away. The rough touch on the wall there will lead to some more pressure coming in from the Amaterasu. But Mikey can't quite get the touch. Gob goes under him. Silly Bunny short on the near post, waiting for the pass out, but the ball cleared away off the back wall. Stonewall can't control it, so Gob will be able to get a touch here. Won't go over the head of anybody. Sent back into the Cyclone side. Axe who forced to clear it away high. But Stonewall is there off the sidewall. And the pressure is really good whenever these teams get into the offensive zone. Once they get that rotation down, both teams doing a really good job of keeping pressure. Cyclone's able to execute a little more. They hold on to a 2-0 lead as we move into the final minute of game number one. Well, there's a really good push down here, but there's a team bump. Let's see if they can take advantage of this. Silly Bunny tries to pop it out. Stonewall takes over low on boost, but does... Wow, what a flick. Zero boost play here, and they end up getting it through. Wow, what a push down from Stonewall. 
Yeah, really good play there. Comes in from the right side of the ball, gets a soft touch, gets under the ball, and then fakes everybody out with the direction change on the flick, sends it to the right side of the net. Unfortunately, the two players in the center of the net had to slam on their brakes. No momentum to get over there. Cuts the lead in half and maybe ties it up. Stonewall playing well on both sides of the pitch right now. Two goals and a save off of his three shots right now. 449 points officially eclipses the lobby in points with that one. 34 seconds remain, and we are tied up. Yeah, we're seeing a bit of a momentum shift here as well for the Amaterasu. We're seeing some good things come through on the offensive side now. Looking like the nerves are starting to settle, and it's just time to get in and play the game. And Gob with an unfortunate touch. Wow, Fluff couldn't quite get around it. Axe, who has to come in, gets it to the mid. Fluff's there for the challenge, but it's blocked out yet again. Stonewall comes in, tries to get a push down, but can't quite make it happen. See a bit of a pop up. Yes, Fluff is up, as is Mikey. They end up running into each other, but get it clear down. There's a demo going either direction. Let's see if Mikey can do anything with this. Gets it down mid. Stonewall is up for that quick. Gets another touch. Can they keep this alive? Looks like it's going to drop here, and we have overtime 2-2 two to two in Game 1. Very good Game 1 here so far. The teams are even on the stat board, and they're even on the pitch so far. Stonewall, really an outstanding performance late in the game to bring the, uh, excuse me, the Amaterasu back within striking distance. On overtime <laughs> here, puts it down, forces the own goal from Axu. Axu looking for the save off of the backboard instead gets a clip worthy redirect right under the crossbar into the back of the net and that is going to be Amaterasu starting the game down zero to two and coming back to win an eventual three two all on the back of stonewall your mvp for game number one. Oh my word mvp i think is an understatement stonewall just came alive at the second half there cyclone's last goal at 229 just at the halfway mark and then Amaterasu just shuts it down, coming through with the 637. That is looking clean there from Stonewall. But, you know, the Cyclones, they came out. They started how they needed to. I'm expecting things to settle a little bit. But, you know, it looks like Axu's a bit by himself there at the top. Uh, a little bit of a hero ball from either side of things. But, you know, if it works, it works. I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. I mean, these guys are uh, definitely a lot better at the game than I am. So uh, we'll, we'll let Max. them do whatever yep. they whatever they think is right for now. Although I will say uh, on the side of the Amaterasu, they got to do a better job at defense with their spacing. They're a little too clumped up. They're not protecting the net. They're protecting the wall. Uh, you know, as someone needs to protect the wall. Don't get me wrong. Someone's got to protect the back oh, wall. There it is. Uh, you know, kickoff goals. They happen five seconds in. Silly Bunny creating a lead here. Unfortunately, right over the cheater. Stonewall does get the save. Not going to be super great, so Silly Bunny's able to come in. Yeah, yeah I mean, you gotta, this is... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You got to protect that back wall, but I think that Amaterasu is um, sending players at the ball uh, at the wrong times on defense from time to time. Yeah, you know, this is similar to how things started off in game one, so I'm wondering if this is just going to be somehow the... I don't want to call it a game plan, um, but, you know, maybe this is how they want to get things... <laughs> All right, Mikey shutting me up, putting one away. What a shot here. Stonewall going for the big fake there, and Mikey just coming in, putting so much pressure on it. Axu was there for the save, but couldn't quite get around it enough. 1-1 one, one going into the second minute of the game. 438 remaining now. Silly Bunny off the kickoff. Does create a lot of pressure here into the corner. No boost to follow it up. So Stonewall does get it over their head, but Gob able to keep the pressure alive. Axu into the middle. Silly Bunny is not going to be ready for it. So Gob has to go up for an awkward aerial. Does keep the pressure off the backboard. Silly Bunny is up. Stonewall up. <laughs> the delayed shot from Silly Bunny. Too much for Stonewall to handle. Goes up looking for the block. Can't quite get it. Silly Bunny opts to go under. And that is going to be 2-1 in favor of the Cyclones. I really like that change of pace there. You could see Silly Bunny leaned back to make sure that the shot went under. Well done there. Well played. And Silly Bunny will go in for a head fake there right off kickoff. God's going to try and take over. Axe who in the corner. I can barely believe that we've only got one minute down in this game it feels like there's been so much happening already mikey pushes it down gob floating sends it to the corner axe who's gonna take over 
See if they can get a clear out, but Fluff is up quick and reads it. So Stonewall's gonna come in and Stonewall's gonna do what Stonewall does and put one through, ties us back up. Yeah, really good play from Fluff here. Gets the 50 and Stonewall is just reading this ball miles and miles and miles before Silly Bunny is reading it. Silly Bunny alone in the net in a tough spot, but unfortunately Stonewall just with the, the speed demon mentality there gets up, puts it home. And now off the backboard could have the double here. Fluff is there. I thought that was a defender for a second, so I thought it was actually going to be <laughs> defended. Uh, uh, Mikey now going to try and get it centered out for Fluff as Stonewall gets a demo. Good challenge there by the blue side. Is going to get it out. Oh, the pinch coming in. Uh, the ground pinch attempt coming in from Fluff defended well by Gob, and it will keep the scoreline at 2-2 here with just 3.20 remaining. Looking like a good opportunity here yet again. Mikey's up quick, gets past Gob. Axe, who's going to be a little bit low. Silly Bunny's got a lot to do because Fluff's coming in. Do we see a bump here? Oh, look at this play. They're looking so good on the offensive side of things. You can see, pop up. Fluff gets it towards frame. Mikey goes for the Goomba Stomp attempt, so you can't even jump for that if you're Axu. Wow. And Axu now with two own goals, actually. One in game one, one in game two. Both of them not really, uh, you can't really like put them on him, I guess. Definitely both savable. But if it's one of those things where if he saved it, it would just be absolutely amazing, incredible. How did you ever do that kind of saves? <laughs> uh, so you can't really put too much blame on him. Just really good play coming in from uh, the Orange squad here. Doing well to bring up this game. 3-2, a little over half the game remaining. So plenty of Rocket League here left. Going to be corralled by Mikey off the sidewall. Fluff goes up for the second one. Gob, pretty easy save there. Gets it over the head of the Orange challenger. Axu now on the net, slow and soft. Stonewall puts it to the outside. Silly Bunny, good pressure, gets the boost up in the corner, looking for the pass center, and Gob is there, but he's there late, so he's going to have to opt for keeping pressure in possession and try and recenter it. Pressure's looking good here. Silly Bunny's going to try and keep it in. Axe, who's up quick, goes for the double. Stonewall shuts it down. Another boost grab. Gets bumped on rotation out, so almost the entire lobby is here at the halfway point. Things are getting a little bit awkward here if you're on the Cyclone side of things, but let's see if they can clear this out. Axe who is up with a beautiful air dribble, gets it the whole way down the field, but Mikey's gonna collect to try and get it back into the play. Gob shuts that down quick, but low on boost can't continue here. Stonewall going for a pinch with Mikey and it actually works. Let's see if they can get it back towards mid. Gets past one, but Gob comes in. Fluff is gonna go for some plays here off the backboard. Do they have the angle? Stonewall couldn't quite get around it. It's going to be a 2v1. Can they take advantage of this? They get it passed, but no, not quite. Just the play was ever so slightly off there. I thought the Cyclones were going to be able to take advantage of that 2v1, but just ever so slightly mishandled the ball. 50-50 in the center of the field. Now spills out to the orange side of the field. Mikey able to keep control of it there. Pass up to Fluff. Fluff has to deal with a little bit of harassment, but able to get it out of the corner and into the midfield. Challenged by Gob, sends it back into the orange half. Awkward pop off the bevel. Gob there first. Pass off the back wall. Stilly Bunny can't get all of it, so Fluff able to clear it away off the soft shot attempt. Off the back wall now. Stonewall is looking for it, but Gob there to control the backboard. Silly Bunny also demos Fluff. Fluff should be back on the far post here, but lone defender back now. Gob tries to get it centered, but a great play from the orange defender on the back wall and sends it all the way back down to the blue half where the uh, excuse me, where the Cyclones will regroup and reset their attack. You can see there's a bit of open space here. Axu comes in for the quick attempt, but Stonewall shuts it down, not just once, but twice. Gets it past Silly Bunny and Fluff going at it. Gob's going to be up quick here. There's a bit of a double commit, so Mikey should have some open space. Doesn't take it full advantage, just sends it down to Axu. Silly Bunny going for a pop, maybe a self-pass. Couldn't quite get around it. So Gob's going to come in, try and create this pressure. They need one now. 15 seconds remaining down to the 10. Can they get a push down? It's going to be the big opportunity here. Mikey's going to just kill the pace of the ball in the corner here. All you got to do is just let it camp in the corner. Stonewall coming in. Might as well put another one on. And Stonewall absolutely puts another one on to seal this game too. The buzzer has to secure his MVP. Was not going to win the MVP race in points, I do not think. I do believe Fluff was in front of him before that goal. So just trying to secure it there at the end. 
Great play from both of them, but Stonewall comes out on top for this one, top of the podium. Cyclones played a good game again, but unfortunately just couldn't hold on to the ball uh, and the lead. Two to four, falling to the Amaterasu in game number two, and they are up two to zero in the series. Yeah, Fluff and Mikey both getting at least a cycle there as well. There's a lot of pressure going the whole way around the field, so they're doing well as a team, as a an organization, as a unit. But, you know, Stonewall is really coming in and putting it away. That's really the last little piece that's needed here. And maybe the Cyclones can make it happen. They've done it twice. Both games, they've scored two goals. But can they keep the score sheet clean on their end is the big question here. As we go into kickoff for game three, can they make it happen? Gob puts a quick one onto frame. The silly Bunny coming in to take over. Stonewall going to the corner here, but it's only as far as Axu. He's going to pop it up, gets a race back, but Mikey is going to be on it quickly. I really like what the Amaterasu side of things is doing. They go, they get the ball down towards the corner, and then they cycle through, try to get the bumps. They steal the boost. So when they're on offense, they are really on offense. All right, we've got Fluff up in the air, just like the prediction is up in the chat. Make sure you get your points gambled in. I promise not to make the same mistake twice. It's actually up this time. Go put your points down. Are you going to bet on Stonewall in the uh, two MVP for performances he's made? Or are you going to take Axu and the Cyclones, who are looking for the comeback here in game number three? We've got about a minute gone here in game number three, and the pressure is pretty even. Not a lot of big plays coming out from either side yet couple small opportunities ball centers out there thought that might be one but the ball is just going to ping pong back and forth gob with the only shot in this game pass off the backboard sent away by stonewall really good defensive play there i really thought we were going to see some magic there it was an off the ceiling pass almost got the double touch as well i thought that was going to be the one to really start the momentum but mikey in the corner here going up against silly bunny the low 50 and the backwards 50 to sends the ball to the sky so gob's gonna take over stonewall's gonna also keep this on the side here axe who gets absolutely dunked there but it's just off the post unfortunate for the amaterasu side of things couldn't quite get a free one there but you know i don't know if they necessarily need one let's see if the oh i thought the cyclones had a good option there let's see if they can get one oh. <laughs> the pinch Oh, wait. Almost. Ball's going to fly wide left of the goal here. Now Axu trying to send it back out center. Looks for the bump on Stonewall. Comes in a little bit too early. Stonewall able to clear it away. Mikey now up. Doesn't hit the ball past Silly Bunny, but trickles in the midfield. Coming back down. Pressure for the Cyclones is mounting. Gob is in the center. Looks for the 50. Gets it over the head of one. Waits for the 50. Silly Bunny off the back wall. Axu cannot commit on that shot. Really good option, I think, to stay back on that one. But it does, unfortunately, lead to the Amaterasu counterattack if you're a Cyclones fan. Big demo there. Can they take advantage? Gob to the backboard. Full boost. Silly Bunny is playing patiently. And is that going to bite them? Oh, just barely gets back to that. Stonewall is going to try and send it down to Mikey. To the backboard. Gob actually gets a little bit of a pinch off the wall there, so it's going to be an awkward touch for the offenders to read there. This is a good touch to stop that push. Two up. Can Fluffy Bunny make it happen? Gob, another backboard touch, but the third, Axu, playing nice and deep, making sure that the counterattack isn't going to come through. Silly Bunny. Oh, going for a going for a bit of a doink there, trying to get it past the defenders. Oh, past one. Silly Bunny shoves it down. Cyclones are doing well this time. They've got some good pressure. They're shutting things down a little bit more on the defense, playing a little bit more passive. But it's looking like the Amaterasu is pushing down time and time again. It's just a matter of time until they get one through. Yeah, they've done a better job at keeping their goal line clear, but they have still relented to a lot of pressure. They've had some co a couple of good opportunities for themselves as well, but no one's been able to put one home. 50 in front of the net could be an opportunity, but Gob flips away. I do think he got the boost, though, so good boost control coming in from the Cyclones again. I think that they are a little bit better at boost control and zone control, but I think that the Amaterasu is just better at executing, and those counterattacks that they have are absolutely deadly. Uh, you know, Stonewall, Fluff, and Mikey have all proven themselves to be very quick and mechanical here, being able to put the ball on net from awkward places as well. 
attack mounting again for Amaterasu, sent away by Aksu. Wilson end up in the front of the net, but Aksu there off the backboard trying to send it away. Challenged in the midfield. Silly Bunny has to come in and help out. Gob corrals the ball in the corner. Resets the attack for the Cyclones. Thought that was going to be a pinch on there. Fluff's going to try and take over. Going to be a shot straight down mid. Oh, just barely couldn't get a hold of it. Stonewall had a really good opportunity there for the center. Couldn't quite make it happen. So Stonewall is going to come back in, try to get under Gob. Does so. Aksu a little bit awkward. Fluff couldn't get to it. So Silly Bunny's turn to come in on the ball here. It's going to be another big push down. Just at the 10 second remaining mark. 0-0. Zero, zero. Stonewall's trying to push it down through. Couldn't quite get it. So Aksu's going to take over in the corner. Silly Bunny's slow to this. So Gob comes in. It's a bit of an awkward ball for quite some time here. Silly Bunny gets it to Stonewall. Fluff comes through. Oh my. Off the crossbar. What a shot. Yeah, that takes the wind out of your sails if you're the Cyclones right there. Really good game three, and then just to get scored on at zero seconds with a beautiful pass from Stonewall and an even more beautiful shot from Fluff. Goes bar down, doesn't hit the ground before the clock hits zero. That's going to be Amaterasu taking game number three, and they are looking for the sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, pull your brooms out of the closet. Get them ready. We could see it happen live on stream. Will Amaterasu take the series four games to zero, or will the Cyclones be able to come back and take game number four and keep their grand finals hopes alive? Well, that's what I, you know, as a caster, I'm always a little bit preferential to longer series, but the way that Amaterasu are playing, they're looking like they're just trying to come in here, do their job, and clock out. And it's interesting to me, looking at the bracket again, going back and just looking at how the seeding has played out here. This is the number four and the number five seed from their respective divisions. This is kind of crazy to me that the number five from the uh, solar side of things, Amaterasu is coming out here and doing work. But they're looking clean. And this is for them. We've got a, what is it? Triple match point for the finals. Looking dangerous. It is definitely looking dangerous, but... Mikey is going to make it look even more dangerous here. Good pass down to Stonewall, who can't quite steer it on net. Touch over one. Silly Bunny awkward in the corner. No boost challenge from Mikey. Trying to get out and get some boost now. Stonewall comes in and helps out with the play. Up early. Ball sent straight down in front of the net. Gob awkward aerial there, but does get it out and away for now. Stonewall centers out. Mikey up early soft, though. And Silly Bunny with a pretty easy challenge there to deal with that shot. Fluff going up against Axu, who's a little bit awkward on the landing there. Silly Bunny coming in, a pop up. Axu sends it down. Mikey's under this ball, actually, and gets dunked. Is this going to be in? It is. Gob, with the absolute ego challenge, comes through and gets one on frame. Yeah, really good play there from Gob. He's the first man. Absolutely, Mikey's the last man. Has an awkward catch coming off the sidewall. Gets a great dunk. Opens up the scoring for the Cyclones, but they haven't been able to hold on to a lead yet. Will this game be any different? Four minutes remaining, and the ball is going to be awkwardly sent back into the orange corner. Fluff has to deal with it quickly. Uh, both, player, both blue players facing backwards could be dangerous, but it's not going to be dangerous quite yet. Mikey has to reset the attack. Ball into the center for Aksu. Off the backboard, Stonewall gets a soft touch. Gob now into the corner. Out of the corner comes Fluff, sends it way down the field. Could be a counterattack team pinch into the center. Axu with the shot. Great stop there in the midfield. Doesn't even get credited with the save, but a save nonetheless in my eyes. Oh, no. That needed a little bit more pace behind it. That was such a close shot there from Gob's side of things. But... The pressure is coming through. We're seeing things change here. You'll love to see it for the Cyclone side of things. Axe who with a good push on. What a recovery off of the bit of an awkward touch there. Gob to the corner. Just needs to get it past one. Does so. Silly Bunny gets shut down quick, though. The challenge game is coming through in the box here. Let's see if the Cyclones can put another one on the board. It's looking like they'll need a little bit of insurance. Because when <laughs> the Amaterasu side of things starts to warm up, they're looking deadly. Axu, touch off the backboard, quite get around it. So it's going to be Mikey to clean up, try and get it out. Gob says, absolutely not. We're going to keep this in this corner for the next two minutes, 45, it's looking like. Mikey trying to come in. Gob, center down. Second man couldn't quite get around to it. Fluff, trying to play bully there on Gob. 
leads to a clear, but it's going to be a bit of ping pong. Back and forth here, big clears going both ways. Let's see if one side can take advantage. Yeah, and I think that if you're the Cyclones here, the the long clears is actually a pretty solid play. Um, against a lot of teams, it might not be the play, but you've been caught a lot under pressure from Amaterasu on these counterattacks, right? So why go in and hold all of this pressure just to get scored on on the counterattacks that have been so deadly when you can just have players back to play defense, you know? That looks a little bit scary, but you've got two players that are on the goal line able to make the saves there. And if you get these big looming clears, your players stay behind the ball. If you try and keep this pressure up, ooh, that was a really good opportunity. Great play there. But if you try to keep this pressure up, you end up getting caught with players in front of the ball. And that's what's going to lead to those deadly Amaterasu counterattacks. Yeah, and it's a good time-wasting strat as well. You know, every time that ball gets a big clear down, that's seconds off the clock. And, you know, we, it's going to be a close one either way. But really, all you need is the one if the scoreline is going to stand. So sending it back down is going to continue that clock clicking down. We've got 120 remaining. Let's see if they can keep this up. Silly Bunny again sending it down. Axe Who has a good opportunity to redirect it on, but Mikey was playing very patiently, waiting on the backboard there, making sure covered all of the angles. So Gob coming in to try and shut Mikey down. Doesn't quite do so, but Stonewall is up quick oh, with it. My oh goodness. my! Stonewall is not having this whatsoever. Mikey with the good 50 win on the sidewall. Pop up, and Axe Who is just ever so slightly awkward, waiting under it. Couldn't decide to jump or not and Stonewall takes advantage. Really fast there, right off the back wall, able to boost back down to the ground, jump up and make contact with the ball before anyone on the blue side was able to read the ball and make contact. Great play from Stonewall to get it tied back up. 1-1, 50 seconds remain. And now if you're, if you're the Cyclones, now you need to put that pressure back on. Don't fall into what your uh, defense strat was and keep just banging the ball away. Get back in, get that pressure on. You got to score a goal here. It is do or die time. This is your playoffs hopes ending if you do not come out because Amaterasu will not let you just sit back and clear the ball away in a tie game. We're seeing things get a little bit jumpy on the Cyclone side right now. There's a couple double commits in a row there. So things were kind of kind of pushing forward, but not quite enough to really be dangerous. There was a good opportunity there for the Cyclone side of things. But again, Mikey, who is the one that really brings the ball down from one side to the other. Stonewall's got a lot to do, but didn't get it. Can Axu turn on this? Oh no, in the waning seconds of the game, you can see Stonewall had a lot to do here and Axu takes advantage. What a play, Cyclones up by one, three seconds left. Yeah, a little bit of a tough aerial there for Stonewall, but uh, not something that I would have expected him to miss, to be completely honest. Uh, very interesting miss there from Stonewall, but at the end of the day, he has played an outstanding series so far, so you can't fault him for making a mistake there. Unfortunately, this one a little bit more costly as it does lead to a 2-1 victory for the Cyclones. Act 2 coming in at the top of the podium with a goal and an assist off of three shots. But Mikey, man, look at the goal <laughs> line performance he had to put out. Four saves. We even saw Chad talking about it, uh, you know, lauding Mikey for some of his saves. Without Mikey on the goal line, this game is a lot, lot farther away than just a 2-1. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, as, as we're talking about the stats here for game four, about to get ready for game five let's get your predictions in for game five ladies and gentlemen get your points in there who's gonna take this next one you know there's uh there's a spot in rival or excuse me in any sort of finals right where the team is up three the other team is down whatever amount of games that they have and the team that is up that is on game point can sometimes get a little bit nervous can they actually close this out that's always the question that's asked you know can they actually go through can they get that last victory that they need and really seal these things out? It's looking like Cyclones is coming through, playing a little bit of a different game here. I like the the change up that they've done and the little bit of a, you know, three second gaff there from Stonewall at the end. Nothing big, nothing to really worry about there. Uh, both sides have been playing really well. So I'm interested to see how things go here in game five. 
Game five, everybody's put their brooms away. No sweep coming out for the Amaterasu side. The reverse sweep's still possible, however, for the Cyclones, if they can 3-0 the rest of this series. Can they do it? Game five prediction is still up in chat. Make sure to get those predictions in before the time runs out. Looks like we've got a uh, quite a heavy favorite going towards the Amaterasu. 69% of you picking them to win right now. And we will <laughs> see what happens as Mikey trying to solidify that prediction a little bit gets the goal in comes in a little after the prediction and so you cannot use it to help wow. to help your prediction but man what a shot a pre-flip aerial into a little butt doink through that was astounding what a way to put it away to start things off hot try and finish out this series here going for one quick fluff coming down but there is stonewall removed and unfortunately on ball side there almost got it back mid for the offenders there on the other team gob sending it back down mid to silly bunny stonewall misses another read here i think getting a little bit jumpy axe who to the corner has a lot to do with the ball here does so beautifully gets bumped but still re remains in control for a brief moment and then couldn't quite get it to gob sending one down do we see a bump come through yes we do and silly bunny comes through ties it up love the physical play especially from a team like the cyclones who have really done a good job at controlling the zone i haven't seen a lot of those bumps i have seen the rotational bump attempts so you, uh, not gonna fault them too much there they have been going for them but they just haven't really been there to connect you don't have a lot of people sitting still on the goal line at this tier of rocket league <gasps> they finally find the opportunity and there's another one there silly bunny gets it over the head of all of the defenders right off of the sidewall great shot here no one is getting up to that one as stonewall wow. has too much momentum and carries him under the ball what a placed shot there right off the rip getting the kickoff goal there putting them up by one so cyclones really are coming back here warming up they're changing things up looks like the pressure is starting to kind of ebb and flow a little bit more comparatively to how things were just going in amaterasu's favor from the beginning here a silly bunny taking over here big dribble through the air we'll call it a dribble to be a little bit of a you know generous caster here gob to the side stonewall just enough to get it back down but no axe who's gonna shut it down fluff to the backboard can gob get to this yes thought there was gonna be a bump come through there is indeed a bump come through and a demo but mikey was well wide of the goal couldn't get around it going back in stonewall we're seeing a bit of uh good pressure coming through here trying to get one back trying to tie it back at the three minute mark here for amaterasu ball out into the center for maxu gob finds it throws it to the corner silly bunny will be up first sends it off the corner low for gob in the center won't be able to get that one it's steered away by an orange defender Back down towards the center of the net, cleared away by the defender on the backboard. Gob will have an easy one to deal with after Fluff can't quite land the redirect. But Mikey there sends it to the center. Fluff challenged by Silly Bunny, and Axu sends it away. Both teams doing a good job of getting the ball down the field, getting that opening opportunity, but the defense doing a good job of defending that centering pass and sending it away for the past 30 seconds. There's a good opportunity there. Couldn't quite get around it. Silly Bunny is going to grab the boost and rotate out. Gob's coming in. But it's going to be a double commit and a clean beat, actually, even with the double commit. So Mikey has got a lot to do. Silly Bunny's coming in, trying to get it back mid. Does so, but Fluff shuts it down. So Axu has to come in. They're going to continue this press. You can see a bump coming through there from the Cyclone side of things on the goal yet again. But it doesn't lead to anything for the time being. Let's see if they can take advantage of that physical play. Even sometimes it doesn't go through. You don't quite get the bump. Sometimes just knowing that the bump is coming can make you a little bit jumpy and Silly Bunny gets another one through. This is just a clean series of touches here from the Cyclone side of things. Yeah, great play from Silly Bunny. Puts the goal line at, or puts the score line rather at 3-1. Puts it right into the center of the net. No one really there to be able to make the save. And now Amaterasu really has to come back and reevaluate their game plan. They really haven't had great opportunities. They have gotten the ball on the blue side. They've gotten the ball to the center of the field, but nothing really super open, nothing really super clean. They've got to figure out what they're doing and uh, what they can do differently in order to create those opportunities because the Cyclones have really upped their defensive game. 
Yeah, and they're getting a little bit more physical are the Cyclones as well. So it's looking like they're clearing out a lot of space. And this should be another one right here. Yes, it is. Everyone pushed up. You got to start to get the comeback mounted at some point. But that's not quite how you do it. The double commit right there in the middle. Trying to get the press down. And Axu just puts another one on frame. Up by three. 118 left. It's looking like the Cyclones. The change in pace here. And the change of possession. And the bump physical play. It's coming through to help them out in this game five. Yeah, I think that was uh, not the worst call ever, to be completely honest. Stonewall there's third man. He goes in oh early with the free flip. Axu just at beautiful goal. Wow, chef's kiss. Cyclones are running away with this one. But, you know, it all kind of starts off of that last one. And now if you're a Matarasu, you're kind of thinking, all right, this game's scuffed. Let's play for the next one, right? But before that, Stonewall comes in as third man, tries to get the pre-flip shot. You're already down by two with a minute 18 left. So you got to kind of start throwing everything you can. Plus with their ability to score the ball and make some really nice plays in the offensive zone. Can't really blame him for going too early there. But now it does lead to the eventual one to five score line with 45 seconds remaining in game number four. Or five. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta get things started at some point, especially at this point in the series. You know, you, you're right there. You're on series point. I called it match point earlier. I whatever you want to ultimately call it. Uh, but you know, you gotta get that last game in, and you know, with that good opportunity there to get it back in, and fluff does indeed get one back in, but it's just a little bit unfortunate. Could be a little bit late in this game here. Down by three, 27 seconds left, but. You love to see that little bit of adapt coming through there for the Amaterasu. You know, maybe yeah. it's not going to be the full comeback, but it is a goal. Yeah, and oh, that's going to be of goals. again <laughs> off the kickoff. I think that's four, maybe five kickoff goals in this entire series from the Cyclones so far. They're really good at these kickoffs, and you, and you like, if you're a Amaterasu, you got to do something different on the kickoff. Keep the ball down on the ground. Almost every time you're getting scored on from the kickoff, it's because it's flying out high into the wall and just the other guy's reading it before you can. So just do something a little different. Maybe it doesn't have to be the most beneficial to you, but it needs to be less beneficial for the other team. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, they're really taking advantage of that. Are the Cyclones coming in, putting the clamps down quick and early, and especially off of those kickoffs, you know, it's not a lot of time goes by to make a kickoff goal happen, but, you know, a goal is a goal on that side of things. So, you know, Cyclones coming out, getting another one on the board here. That was a clean game, too. Six to two, almost 780 for Axu. Three goals, an assist, three saves, three shots. Doing a bit of everything that game. Yeah, it's a, a really good game from Axu, honestly. Silly Bunny with a couple of really mm -hmm. nice shots as well. Super clean performance from the Cyclones. Really put it all on the pitch here for game number five. And they're going to have to do it again for game number six and game number seven if they want to survive because Amaterasu just needs to squeak out that one last win to win the series. Cyclones now just in need of two. Yeah, the, the reverse sweep might happen. We went from a sweep to a reverse sweep possibility pretty quick here. The Cyclones changing things up, getting more physical, I think have really shaken up the Amaterasu side of things. They're not looking quite as clean, don't have as much space to really go for those mechanic plays to get the ball in mid and to get the ball rocketing down towards the frame there. So I'm interested to see if there's another mid-series adapt that comes through for the Amaterasu side of things to kind of counter that physical play coming from Cyclones. We will see. We've got all six players on the field. Five minutes on the clock winding down here in game number six. Axu up over the head of one. We'll be looking to get it over Fluff into the center for Gob. Gob can't quite read it. Should leave Mikey able to go up, but he opts to turn around, leave it for Silly Bunny, let him touch it into him. Axu now trying to get something started in the corner. Ball hasn't really left there recently. Gob with the whiff. Silly Bunny now out of the corner, should fall center, but Stonewall there for a good defensive play. Axu, soft touch, can't get it over the head of Mikey. Great defensive play by Mikey there. Will go centered back out again, but Fluff able to send it across. The double commit could fizzle the attack from the Cyclones. We are 50 seconds into game number one, and we almost saw the opening goal, but it's not going to quite crack through yet. 
again coming through with that physical play right there on the goal line. It almost came through, as you were saying. Not quite, though. Just needed that little bit more behind it. Get behind that player there. Let's see what Mikey can do with this. Calling in Fluff for help to get it down. Nice little team pinch to make that happen as well. And Fluff up with the speed. So Gob has to come in. Axu's kind of floating around here for the moment. Let's see if they can get it past. Silly Bunny is going to be called in to try and catch this. Does so, but gets demoed for their efforts trying to slow play. And then ends up getting demoed. So can they turn this around? Another big pinch coming through. For the Amaterasu side of things, Silly Bunny in the corner in a battle against Fluff. But Axu is up quick to this. Is this going to be on frame? Oh, what a save coming through there. I don't know if that was actually on frame. Sure looked like it. That was a dangerous pass down. The Cyclones on their offensive side have been looking a lot cleaner as this series progresses. Well, I mean, even in their losses, we always talked about how they had really good offensive pressure, really good boost control in the offensive zone, but they would just fall to those counterattacks. Here, Fluff is going to put a very nice one on net. Great 50 centers out. Fluff turns quick on the ball. Gob can't quite get the turnaround on it. Forced own goal again. That is the third one for the Cyclones in this series. And Amaterasu come out swinging. They've got one goal on the board, just two minutes gone. Mikey puts another one on net gob there to make the save off the kickoff shot attempt into the center. Fluff isn't quite there, so gonna have to take the 50 and not a great one. Stonewall has to play defense here. Fluff into the center, not great. Axe who touches out for gob. Gob off the sidewall to himself. Can't get the read before Stonewall, so leaves it for Silly Bunny. Fluff now off the backboard. This is very dangerous. Oh, Axe who can't quite read it quick enough. But the Cyclones are mounting pressure again. And this, uh, even in their losses, like I said, they do a really good job of mounting pressure. They just have to execute. Yeah, those last little bits right here is a good opportunity for Gob. Just has to get it down mid. Silly Bunny was there, but couldn't quite get around the defender. Opportunity still, and an opportunity taken. Gob puts it through. What a beautiful transition there. And the play just continued as every single ball was contested from both sides of things. And Gob just came out better on top at the end there. 2-10 left. 1-1. One one. Axu's coming in, trying to get a big win here. We were talking about it in the previous games. A lot of the kickoff shenanigans coming from the Cyclone side of things. Looks like it's been shut down. Stonewall with an absolute ripper onto frame there. But it was defended for the time being. Silly Bunny, trying to get it past two, can't do so. Gob's a little bit slow to this ball, so Axu's gonna have to try and grab boost and ball. Does so, but can they get it past the defensive side? Yes, gets past one, not two. So Silly Bunny's gonna come in, try and get it down towards mid. No, Axu is deep in the field, He's coming in for a 50, and Gob goes for the cut as well. I'm sure, there's a bit of a miscommunication there, but it seems to work for them for the time being. Mikey's up. Gob with another demo coming through. This could be a good opportunity. Oh, but the unfortunate touch to the outside. So Gob and Axu in the corner here. Can't do anything too lethal with this ball to get it towards mid. So Axu's going to take over, try and get past. Stonewall's going to have a ton of space on this, but it's shut down. What a read from Axu there. Fortunately, Fluff was just waiting on the goal line because that was an absolute ripper. Yeah, Fluff almost got handcuffed, too. Got a very oh, soft touch on the save. There's what one. the pinch, dude? <laughs> what the pinch? This is Rocket League. That is just the most Rocket League play I've ever seen. Gob comes in out of the corner. Doesn't quite get his jump oh. right, so Mikey, with the challenge, gets it in off Gob's car. And, uh, you know, three four stone goals and a pinch off of your own player going in for the for one series is not looking great if you're the Cyclones, but they are only down by one and they have looked good in this game. Don't make it oh. too fluff. Oh my gosh, so rude. But what <laughs> a shot he had. Just full wide open opportunity here. He's not gonna miss that. Yeah, and you love the caster curse. Only down by one and immediately they get scored on. Three to one, 48 seconds left. Let's see if there's any sort of kickoff shenanigans that they can do. The Cyclones get back in. Fluff's gonna shut this one down. Axu was up quick, but doesn't have a lot of forward momentum here. So Mikey's gonna come in. Gob sends it down, but it's a bit quick for Silly Bunny to get to it really with any sort of pace behind it. Axu with a good touch here to get around. Did they get it to Gob? Oh, can't quite get around it. 
I think the box was crowded just enough that Gob didn't think it would get past all of them. Stonewall trying to get backward. Didn't get it. Axu's coming in for the double. Gob was bumped, so it's a lot to be called on. Luff just trying to kill this ball. Ten seconds left, up by two. They have to get one now if the Cyclones want to remain in this. Oh, don't get it, and it's going to be Fluff. Just got to get one in. No, Gob, and it's looking like that's going to be enough. There it is, Amaterasu with the game four that they needed for the series in game six. Yeah, really great play from Amaterasu here. Fluff coming in with some absolute key goals in game number six. Unfortunately for Fluff, I do not think he's going to beat Stonewall in this MVP vote. Stonewall is my elite MVP for season 14, but congratulations to all three players on the field. All three of you played very well, and you would not have been able to be the team like the Cyclones of all three if you weren't playing very well. Axu put, put out a really solid performance, would have been my MVP for the Cyclones, but again, all three of them playing well as well. Yeah, GG's to both sides of things here. Congrats to Amaterasu and Cyclones. Played really well. I liked the mid-series adapt, but couldn't quite make it happen here in this game six.